we should help a fellow man. Folks in Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas were prepping all weekend for Hurricane Debbie, and now local groups in Kentucky are preparing to send help in the storm's aftermath. Our crews will be on standby uh, for those who are going down to help with mutual aid, and then after that water subsides, and you see all the damage left behind, they'll begin rebuilding the electric system. Kentucky Electric Cooperatives is just one of the organizations from Kentucky on standby to head to the southeast. The American Red Cross, Bluegrass Chapter, and Lexington-based company Emergency Disaster Services are also ready to step in. Kentucky Utilities is even sending 50 of their own people down to help. With some forecasts projecting close to 20 inches of rain in parts of the south, electrical grids will take a huge hit. You do not rebuild a electric system in water. The same way as the winds would come in with a hurricane and, and take trees down and take uh, power uh, poles down and power lines down, well, water could have that same effect. And so after that storm surge subsides, is that's when our crews can go in and try to rebuild the system. When Hurricane Adalia hit in 2023 with a track similar to Debbie's, Kentucky Electric Cooperative sent crews down to South Carolina and Georgia, and crews say they're ready to go again. It looks like Georgia is going to be our best match in terms of where our equipment can be the most effective and the conditions that we're expecting. These line workers are heroes. Uh, they are people who are leaving their families and leaving the safety of the of the job behind and, and to go into areas that are, you know, that are in, in terrible shape. For WKYT, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Alexa Minton.